Hello everybody. In this series of videos, uh, we're going to be learning about the principles of macroeconomics. And so you can see on the sidebar here, uh, off to the right, all the topics that we're going to be covering. Um, the first the first couple uh, chapters are going to be introductory, an introduction to economics, supply and demand, which is which is a model used broadly across micro and ma macroeconomics, and we're going to build out the fundamentals of that and make some applications within macroeconomics. Then after that, we're going to hit the big three um, concepts within macroeconomics, which would be GDP, the labor market, and essentially unemployment, and inflation. So those are kind of the three big topics that we'll cover next. Uh, followed at the end by a bit of uh, information about the money and banking system, uh, particularly in the United States, and then monetary policy conducted by the Federal Reserve uh, and how that works with a bit of uh, the traditional methods that they have historically used, uh, but then in, in addition to that, some of the newer methods um, that they've been using since the financial crisis in 2007 and even more since the COVID-19 crisis. So we're going to jump in here with the introduction, high-level overview of economics, high-level overview of economists and the profession, uh, where economists work, uh, salaries, collaborations, uh, and then move on into the difference between micro and macro and Finally, in, at, at the end, kind of starting to dive into a little bit of economic content, looking at economic systems around the world. So we're going to keep that pretty high level, thinking more or less between closed economies or command economies uh, over to market-based economies. Okay, so let's dive in here uh, to the notes. So uh, first thing, is we're going to want to look here at what economists actually do and who needs economists. So the field of economics is very broad and covers a lot of different disciplines. Um, as you can see here, we have health, gender, the environment, education, immigration, in addition to uh, what people might normally think of in economics as working in banking or finance uh, or working in policy settings. Um, but the policy settings could include, you know, any one of these uh, broad topics. Okay, and so it, economists are working in a lot of areas. We'll, we'll get back to that a little bit more. Just a little bit of information on the median annual wages. Um, so most economists are working in the federal government um, finance and insurance next, management scientific, scientific research. This would probably be where academic economists operate as professors. Uh, and then state governments uh, with a little bit of salary information here too. So do keep in mind this is annual wages across a whole broad category of economists. Uh, this 104,000 figure is highly unlikely to be a... Uh, a starting wage, um, but nonetheless, you get a comparison across different um, different fields. And so, economics is generally thought of as a social science studying human behavior. Um, and so, we're we're going to be comparing that to other social sciences, um, and then all occupations generally. So, we're going to come back in the semester uh, later and do a lot more and a lot more detailed. Um, wage analyses for economists versus others and for for majors economics majors as compared to economists because not all economics majors end up working as a quote economist so we're going to dive down into a lot of details here on this okay um and this next bit is a really important uh really important aspect um, not just in economics, but many fields, um, it's always important to have a, a broad understanding of 
of your field, but also the, the types of people that your field typically works with. So data science is huge right now. I would say data science is a little bit more of computer science and statistics, um, but economists bring a really uh, rigorous quantitative um, component to analyses and can often get jobs in data science uh, at the very or, or at the very least augment uh, jobs that that exist. So, uh, particularly later on in the study of economics, you get to the area of econometrics, which is essentially economics statistics, um, and with a really good econometrics background, these data science jobs are 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 definitely out there and definitely possible. Um, economists are also working with engineers, um, so typically, uh, you know, there might be a big project where some engineers are working together uh, with some economists, and they need to do some kind of cost-benefit analysis on whether or not to create this the new machine, for example. And so, engineers are really good at understanding how things work and what components need to be involved. And so in a cost benefit analysis, the engineers will have a really good idea of what's it going to cost. Um, and sometimes measuring the benefit of, of things is a little more difficult. Um, and so economists have, a, have a, a good background of knowledge in order to evaluate or, or measure the value of things. And so working with engineers, um, not just in machinery settings, but even, you know, environmental type settings where engineers are looking at how water run runoff flows into, you know, the watershed or the nearby river. So what's the, how does the, how does the water move into the river? What are the consequences of that? Um, and then, Maybe, maybe the, the area nearby would benefit from being converted into forest or pasture or grassland. Um, and what would the benefit of that be? If that cleaned the river, what would be the benefit of a cleaner river? Uh, and that's inherently a hard thing to measure. What's the, what's the value of water? What's the value of air? Um, and Economists, particularly environmental economists, have a lot of really neat methods in order to put a value on things, um, not just things in the market, but also non-market um, evaluation for things like air quality. Okay, um, moving on, economic development abroad. This is a very lar large and growing field within economics where uh, economists go overseas, uh, work in different countries, and try to evaluate how different policy programs get put into place um, and what the effects are. So labor market policies, uh, money and banking, microfinance is really big in this field. Um, so all sorts of development opportunities um, internationally. Health and education, um, lots, of, lots of economic analysis going on in there, law and other consulting, again, especially with um, valuation. So in, if you have a lawsuit where somebody has lost the ability to work or even potentially lost their life, um, lawyers will sometimes hire economists to come in and do like we were talking about with uh, the engineering con um, collaborations. Lawyers will hire economists to figure out what's the value of being able to work for the next 30 years or or essentially not being able to work for the next 60 years and how much should how much should clients be compensated so a lot of lawyers will bring economists in as expert witness uh, expert witnesses for this okay so all sorts of um, areas that economists are working in or around um, a lot of a lot more information on the American Economics Association website um, so you can go out there and check that out as well. Uh, I will say, yeah, one note uh, about economics uh, as, as a path, taking a path of economics toward grad school, um, especially at the higher levels, economics becomes very math heavy, um, a bit more in a master's program than a bachelor's program. And 
a bunch more in a PhD uh, compared to a master's or a bachelor's. So I would even say if somebody was thinking about um, getting a PhD in economics, if they knew that early enough, I would even recommend that the person study mathematics as a major, um, maybe double major in math and econ. Um, but really, there's a lot of math uh, at the higher levels of economics. So um, not going to be not going to be a whole lot of math in our our uh, videos here. Um, but as you move further and further into the field, math becomes increasingly more important. Okay, so uh, let's, I'm going to stop there uh, with our little introduction to economics and economists, uh, and in the next video we're going to move on to why, what economics is, why it's important, um, and start digging into the differences between micro and macroeconomics.